Hello everybody, I'm back with another video and today we're doing some journaling. Um, this is the main journal that I use for all of my art journals and I make it in this moleskin. And this will be the spread that we're working on. Um, I, did, I do have some supplies that I'm going to use. And I'm going to be also using some from the last art journal box, which is going to be this one, this one, and then this one. I'm glad that um, this is part of the color scheme because um, if not, I hate when it looks out of place. So yeah, I have these three that I'm going to use, and then I have a bunch of options back here, uh, a couple of... Uh, uh, sticker sheets and then smaller papers and things like that uh well, more ephemera and then there's bigger ephemera back here so yeah we'll see which ones i end up choosing what else what else what else oh yeah could be using uh these for my illustration which is two of the Tombow Pros, um, and these are the colors. And then I have these two Copic markers in the color JR07 and Y18. It, I said J, YR07. And I do have this Karen Deco brush that I can also uh, use with that. So yeah. Um, oh. I also um, might be using these. I have the three of them. And also from last Art Journal Snacks. Um, this one to uh, lay down some ephemera I could also be using. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> Star journaling. Um, I have my monster because you know we gotta be a Kyle. Get some juice for journaling. Um, not aesthetic. You know how some some people have like their little coffee mug or their tea. Nah, I'm over here with straight up monster, trying to journal away. So I pull a lot of uh, papers uh, to choose from and uh, recently I've only done two right now but it's pretty much like a um, quick art journal. I do uh, follow here a couple of art journalers and I see how they do their journals and uh it's very abstract you know the things that they do or they do very quickly and i was like i should try that because for me to do an art journal um i have to pretty much prep so like i i grab um, a day of the week to gather all of the supplies that i want to use for said journal and then um, I'll work on the journal, you know? Um, but I see some people doing like super quick art journals and I wanna try that. So I've been, I, I've done two and um, I don't know if I'm gonna record those or, but, or anything, but they're fun, they're fun. 
and I use the supplies that I have already chosen, you know, for the journal that I'm working on. So let's say all the supplies that I chose right now, that I showed y'all in the beginning of this video, those are, will be the ones that I'm using for the like quick daily art journals. So I don't like waste my time on looking for other materials that I think it should uh, have, unless I have it right there and then, but I don't wanna waste time to do that. That's not what I want this journaling experience to be. But I'll see, I'll see if that works out. I may record some, I don't know, but yeah. So that's, that's, you just paste it like that, right? And you just use the directions. That's a collage adhesive. Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it, I guess. The drawing is transparent according to itself, so. That's what I'm hoping here. And I'm using the the brush that came in the art journal snacks that I work. What is this? Okay. It, it does seem to be getting stuck to the paper under it. There my dog goes. He's he wants to be the main character in all of my videos, I swear to god. Like I start recording, I start talking, and he wants to play. He like right now he was asleep. I don't know if my voice like like he's like, oh she's talking, time to time to go for it. I, I like I don't know the science behind it, but every time I try to record, he wants to become the main character. There he goes. Oh god. I forgot to <laughs> um, mute my notifications. They're muted now. But that scared me because <laughs> I really thought that um, I muted them.
This is super random. I have this uh, this paper and God, God knows where I got it. Um, but it's a lot of colors like this. And I saw that these three were in the same color palette. So I was like, let me cut one and <laughs> use it. Um, adhesive. Adhesive. You can use this as a collage adhesive. Well then, uh, go for it. Work. Am I even doing it right? If you know how to use this and you're like, well, this bitch is dumb, let me know, please. Because <laughs> I'm not too sure. Oh, yeah, the art snacks. Okay, that goes there. But I might put something else somewhere. So I'm going to hold off on this so it can be like the final thing. But I, I want it there. And I'll work on this page, I guess. <clears throat> I usually um, don't use orange in my journals, which not because I don't want to, but sometimes the color palettes just doesn't show. And I do have a lot of um, orange shit that <laughs> I need to use. Um, I have like two of those. Um, it's like a block of papers and it's a lot of orange and I was like what am I using these so this is a good chance to use these these colors my dad is over there listening to classical music in the living room it's going hard right now Classical musical is fair use, right? I think it'd be cool to put some on my journals. I haven't used this side of um, this paper that I got. Um, I'm only I've only used the sides with these flowers. So see, it's always nice to use different things.
Okay, so I need to show the illustration already because I need to prop this up where I want it. This is a firmware I got on Timu. And at first I was using Timu for like random shit, you know, like those cheap ass uh, things that they sell on there. But then when I started um, looking at their ephemera, I'm like, oh, I don't have to waste a lot of uh, money on my ephemera. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm, uh, I have a lot of ephemera from there. Yeah. All right, back to using our mat. I think this is one of is gonna be one of those things that um, I'm gonna get more of because I enjoyed it. And the X's and I'm more here with this one as well. I do like that it dries transparent. Um, Okay, now we can lay down the illustration. I mean, I know that what it says has nothing to do with the journal, right? But, um, I got a bunch of these in different colors. Uh, so when I have the chance, I use it. This here first, and then I'll add whatever I want to add.
I'm a, I'm addicted to sticky club uh, stickers. I swear. Every month I go and check out what else they have released. <laughs> and I think I have a I have a package from them on the way. I decided yes. <laughs> Let me see if I can find maybe a stamp. Maybe what I need is a stamp. And uh, to see if I'm gonna grab some paint for this. So I'll look for those supplies. I'm gonna use this uh, moon stamp uh, in this color, which is kind of like a baby blue. For our paint, I found this uh, deco art in the color Coastal Waters. So we're gonna open this up, throw some water in here, throw some paint, and then mix. Sprinkle some Then we'll lay some down <laughs> and I think we're done. Just a good um, end point in this journal, and I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Uh, and yeah, I used a little bit of the supplies that I got in my latest art journal snacks, which is this, 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 and the Liquitex uh, matte medium. And I think it was, it was pretty good. Um, I love getting new supplies that I can use for all of my journals, so I can make them more interesting with different textures and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this process. And if you li did, let me uh, know down below. And uh, next video is gonna be a mini journal one. So 
uh, oh, which is on my other moleskin, the pocket size one. So follow me if you want to see more of that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.